digestion. Plants synthesize their own food by the process of photosynthesis. The animals do not synthesize their own food, but they depend on the plants directly or indirectly for food. Animal nutrition includes nutrient requirement, mode of intake of food, and its utilization in the body. As we know that the food we take has nutrients, such as carbohydrates, which are complex substances, therefore, it needs to be broken down into simpler components so that the body can utilize it for the energy generation. Similarly, the fats and proteins are also converted into simplified form. This process of breaking down of complex substances into simpler substances is known as digestion. Different Modes of Feeding in Animals Different animals have different modes of feeding. For example, cats eat small animals such as fish, rats, birds and insects. Fish is an aquatic animal which feeds itself by filtering food particles from water. Cows eat grass while birds eat fruits, leaves and insects. Some animals such as snakes swallow their prey entirely. Bees and hummingbirds feed by sucking nectar from flowers. Digestion in humans The process of digestion occurs in five distinct steps. Ingestion, digestion, absorption, assimilation and egestion. Ingestion The process of intake of food through the buccal cavity is known as ingestion. In the digestive system, Food first enters into the buccal cavity. The buccal cavity consists of teeth and the tongue and the salivary glands. The mouth or the buccal cavity has teeth, which mechanically break down the food into smaller pieces. Teeth are rooted in separate sockets in the gums. Apart from tongue and teeth, the buccal cavity also has salivary glands, which secrete saliva. The enzymes present in saliva break down the fat or digest the starch present in the food that we eat. We know that the tongue helps in swallowing food. But where does the swallowed food go from the mouth? The swallowed food passes into the oesophagus from the mouth. The oesophagus or the food pipe runs along the neck and chest. The walls of the food pipe move to push the food down into the stomach. After the food pipe, the food enters in the stomach. The stomach is a thin walled bag. It is flattened, U-shaped and is the widest part of the elementary canal. It has an acidic environment. The hydrochloric acid secreted by the stomach kills the bacteria that enter in the stomach through food. Now you must be wondering why our stomach is unaffected by this acid. Well. The mucus secreted by the stomach protects its inner lining. There are various digestive juices secreted by the stomach which take part in the process of digestion by breaking down the food into smaller substances. The stomach opens into the small intestine. It receives secretions from the liver and the pancreas in the form of bile and pancreatic juice. Apart from this, the wall of the small intestine also secretes juices. The main function of the liver is to secrete bile juice. Bile juice is stored in a sac-like structure called gallbladder. Bile takes part in the digestion of fats present in the ingested food. The pancreas secretes pancreatic juice which takes part in the digestion of carbohydrates and proteins by breaking them into simpler substances. Let us perform an activity to test the action of saliva. Take two test tubes. Label them A and B. In test tube A, put one teaspoon boiled rice and in test tube B, put one teaspoon boiled rice after chewing it for two to three minutes. Add three to four milliliter of water in both the test tubes. Now, pour 2-3 to three drops of iodine solution in each test tube and observe.
You will observe that boiled rice in test tube A turns iodine solution blue-black, while chewed rice in test tube B remains unchanged. Thus we conclude that boiled rice contains starch and the saliva present in chewed rice converts starch into maltose. Human Digestive System Elementary Canal Human Digestive System has various compartments. They are the buccal cavity, food pipe or oesophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine ending in the rectum and the anus. Teeth Let us understand the positions and functions of each type of teeth. Incisors are the teeth present at the front portion of the mouth. There are four incisors in each jaw. They are used for biting and cutting food. Canines are located next to the incisors. There are two canines in each jaw. They are used for tearing and piercing food. Premolars lie next to the canines. There are four premolars in each jaw. They are used for chewing and grinding food. Molars lie next to the premolars at the end of the jaw. There are six molars in each jaw. They are also used for chewing and grinding food. Absorption in the small intestine The digested food now passes into the blood vessels in the wall of the intestine. This process is called as absorption. The inner walls of the small intestine have thousands of finger-like outgrowths. These are called villi. Can you guess what can be the role of villi in the intestine? The villi increase the surface area for absorption of the digested food. Each villus has a network of thin and small blood vessels close to its surface. The surface of the villi absorbs the digested food materials. The absorbed substances are transported via the blood vessels to the different organs of the body, where they are used to build proteins required by the body. This is called assimilation. In the cells, glucose breaks down with the help of oxygen into carbon dioxide and water, and energy is released in this process. The food that remains undigested and unabsorbed then enters into the large intestine. Large intestine The large intestine is wider and shorter than the small intestine. It is about 1.5 meter in length. The large intestine absorbs water and remaining salts from the undigested food material. The residual waste material then enters in the rectum. It is stored there in the form of semi-solid feces. The fecal material is finally removed from the body through the anus. This process is known as egestion. Digestion in other animals Grass-eating animals such as cows quickly swallow grass and store it in a separate portion of their stomach called the rumen. Food gets partially digested in the rumen. This partially digested food is called as cud. The cud later returns to the mouth in the form of small lumps as shown in the figure. Animals then keep chewing these lumps. This process is known as rumination. The animals in which this process takes place are known as ruminants. Grass is rich in cellulose which cannot be digested by humans and other animals. Ruminants have a large sac-like structure between the small and large intestine. Cellulose is digested in this region by the action of certain cellulose digesting bacteria. Feeding and digestion in amoeba. Amoeba can constantly change its shape. It forms finger-like projections called pseudopodia. Pseudopodia or the false feet help the amoeba in moving and capturing food. When an amoeba senses its prey, it pushes out its pseudopodia around its prey and engulfs it. The food thus eaten gets trapped in the food vacuole. The vacuole secretes digestive juices which help to break down food into smaller components. 
The digested food is later absorbed by the amoeba for growth, maintenance and multiplication. The waste material or undigested food is then expelled out of the body.